Welcome back everyone to the Falcon's Nest. Last time on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the new Captain America committed a murder in public mm -hmm. with everybody live streaming. And everybody went, oh damn. Yeah, that, I, I think it's fair to say that everybody's in collective shock over that. Some maybe not as much as others, but still, the fact that they showed him straight up brutally murdering someone with a shield, that, woo, that, that, that was intense. Also, we saw the Dora Milaje hand John Walker's ass to him, mm -hmm. you know, before that all went down, but. Right. Still cathartic, though. Yeah. So we good. watched it, Sam and Bucky watched it, <laughs> Zemo watched it for a little bit, and then he ran away. While sipping tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody had a good laugh mm -hmm. up until the end. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we didn't want to open with a bit this time because... Yeah, it's kind of in poor taste, given what happened. I know it's a fictional character, but still. And we, actually, two characters died, because now Battlestar's out of commission. I know you still think he's alive, but I'm convinced that Comic he's dead. Books. <laughs> so yeah, this week we're going to find out what the fallout is from all that, and you know it's going to be bad. I, gu I guarantee you someone's going to utter the phrase, hashtag cancel Captain America. Mm. <laughs> but hopefully that means we can finally get... Sam into the role of Captain America because it's been four episodes now and we only have one left after this so we, we gotta get we gotta get things in gear. I, I, I will say I will be kind of pissed if he doesn't you know, take up the mantle to like the very end. Like I know they're probably it's probably That's gonna, probably what's gonna happen. <laughs> Let's not beat around the I don't want to do that though. I mean I know they're like doing that to like probably gonna do that to like bait a sequel or something or another season or, you know, a movie or whatever, but it's like I but I wanna see him be a little more badass. I wanna see him come into his own. Like why do we have to I mean that's gonna happen. It's just you know, you'll probably have to wait until the very, very end for, you know, to see him actually wear the costume and hold the shield. Honestly, I mean, the series is called The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, yeah. So. I know. I, I just, you know, I want at least one episode of him kicking butt as the new Captain America. But if I have to wait for a movie mm. in the future, so be it. I, I will be mm. patient. But I'm not patient anymore because... I want to know what's going to happen now. I want to see that shit show unfold before our eyes. Because it's going to be bad. <laughs> so let's not dawdle any longer. Uh, let's let's do this and hope that nobody else dies in an over-the-top real fashion. So, play. I know this is inappropriate, but how funny would it be if it opened up with that clip of the original Captain America sitting down and be like, So, murdered a guy in cold blood, huh? Oh, I think that meme has been made. I <laughs> know. Run, fat boy, run! Captain America's trying to catch a train. <laughs> so he kills a guy and then he just fucking books it out of there? I mean... <laughs> Where are you gonna go, dude? You got right on ya. I should see a medic, you don't look so good. Stop, Walker. Says the guy covered in blood. You saw what happened, you know what I had to do. I killed him because I had to! Did you? He killed Lamar! You gotta give me the shield, man. Uh... So that's what this is. He almost caught me. You don't want to do this? Yeah, we do. You're gonna pry that shield from my cold, dead hands! <laughs> Making you do anything. You're here. doing this. Come on, Buck. You took out Steve a lot easier than this. We could have been a team. <laughs> we could have had something special. Mm -hmm. But then you went all crazy as a bitch! <laughs> Keep away. Oh, dude! And then he was you... gonna kill him again. Okay, that's it. You're, you're... I hate this guy. I officially you're, hate you're this guy. Gone. You're I'm done. done. No more sympathy. I'm done. You do not rip that man's wings off. Starring John Walker. Poop it. <laughs> he break his arm. It's over, John. It's mine. 
Sit your ass down. Ooh. Are we done now? Are we done? Did y'all knock each other out? Foreigners to death, but certainly not publicly. You will hold no rank in retirement and receive no benefits. Hmm, that's the kicker. Ooh, your wife gonna leave you now. And nobody's gonna hire this guy for anything. I am Captain America. Not Keep telling anymore. yourself that. And if you continue. To demean and denigrate the priorities and dignity of this council, you will spend the rest of the day. <laughs> dignity! And return the shield to us with expedience. Good luck with that. They just do not know what it takes to be Captain America. They just don't. Neither do you. I'm just going to disappear. Focus. These boots are not made for walking. What the? Louis Dreyfus? Allegra de Fontaine. Elaine, what the fuck are you doing here? Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. I, I actually think it was the second best choice you've ever made in your life. Oh, you want to know what the first best choice was? Oh, tied with marrying this fabulous firecracker sitting right next to me. How's it going? <laughs> Picking up the phone when I call. I mean, technically. <laughs> if anything, it belongs to Wakanda. It belongs to a lot of people. <laughs> technically belongs to uh, Tony. <laughs> yeah. Do you think she's a power broker? Mm. Might represent. Mm. It says here that GRC accused them of harboring and abetting international fugitives, so they raided the place and shut it down. I mean... It's almost like killing Captain America's partner had consequences. They could. Ah, so there's the uh, monument. I thought you'd be here sooner. Don't worry. I've decided I'm not going to kill you. Imagine my relief. <laughs> Now you'll see proper justice. Ladies. <laughs> we will take him to the left. We 
way he would be able to stay. Send him down the river. Casually walk back there. Mm. I guess as long as it's not with Bucky. Hmm. Is that what I think it is? Hmm. Uh-huh. Me and the cover. Those stars and stripes don't mean nothing good to me. I used to be like you. Until I opened my eyes. Until I saw men. The Red Tails, the famous 332, fight for this country, only to come home to find crosses burned on their lawn. I'm from the South. I get that. But you were a super soldier like Steve. You could have been the next. The next? What? Huh? Long hair, blue eyes, stars and stripes. The entire world's been chasing them. Great white hope since he first got dosed for that sir. Steve did not put you in jail. She died while I was in jail. They uh, never let a single one of her letters get to me. They yeah. knocked on me in this box. They told her I was dead. A handful of us got shot up with different versions of that sir. But they don't tell us what it is. They tell us it's tetanus. They sent us on missions. Even though the others weren't stable. Some of us started dying off. Then a couple of the boys get captured on a mission. I heard the brass talking about blowing the POW camp to hell to hide the evidence. But those are my men. My brothers, not the evidence. So I bust out of the facility one night. And I brought them boys back. Not that it made a damn bit of difference. And what did I get for saving their lives? time right before we sell it. Mm. It's a great spot in Grand Isle. Your grandfather used to take to catch a lot of fish. Well, Mom said we can't sell it. What? It's too messed up. <laughs> Mr. Dent said he wouldn't buy it because it cost more to fix. And then he said something else in Vietnamese. <laughs> yeah. 
Just like mom feeding every kid in the neighborhood. <laughs> now, how many people still owe mom and dad something? All of them. All that's left, for sure. Time to collect. Time to mm -hmm. call in a few of those favors. Oh, well, yeah. Well, how do we get it off the truck? <laughs> well, well, well. Look who came back. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask you. <laughs> I called in a favor from the Wakandans. Oh, shit. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> so it's the boat, huh? This is it. It's nice. Want any help? Look at you. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Fuck you, dog. <laughs> I feel like his greatest F you to Sam ever. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. No one after him. No. Um, that guy. He's the one who killed our boy? Yes. You fucking liar. I'll never let the person who did that get away. I hope you can find some measure of peace in that. After everything you boys have been through together, I know. He's resting easier, knowing that the man who's responsible got his justice. He was so proud of you when they made it on in America. They on things. And he would tell me every day what an honor it was to be your partner. I'm surprised it hasn't been graffiti on I know. I have a job for you. Oh, please, if it weren't for me, you'd still be rotting away in that Algerian prison. <sighs> Finished? <laughs> well, Mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> I told you you said to be at the water pump was not the problem, and yet here you are. Yep, Samuel. But in our defense, it was supposed to be done long before you woke up. I don't come to this guy to tell you how to barrel roll or whatever, so don't come down here and start messing around with things you clearly don't understand. <laughs> wow. Bye. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It was weird. Picking it up again. It's just that shield's the closest thing I got left to a family. So when you retired it, it Made me feel like I'd left a lot. Mm -hmm. Made me question everything. You, Steve, me. You up for a little tough love? Hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to climb out of that hill you're in. Do the work. You go 
to these people and say sorry because you think it'll make you feel better, right? But you got to make them feel better. You got to go to them and be of service. I'm sure there's at least one person in that book who needs closure about something, and you're the only person who can give it to them. Probably a dozen. That's cool. Start with one. Good talk. <laughs> Nice to see them actually talking. Yeah. You know, Carly won't quit. Call me when you have a lead and I'll be there. Not necessarily as a team. Nope. <laughs> we're not that good. Definitely not. We're professionals. Definitely a team. <laughs> we're partners, co workers. But we're also a couple guys with a mutual friend. Your friend's now gone, so we're a couple guys. I mean, look. <laughs> no homo? Thanks for the help, man. There's a lot. It's guy love, it's guy love. <laughs> Are you familiar with the ship of Theseus? <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. I know, I know the speech, it's not smart, but I just can't. Sarah, I'm so happy to hear you say that. <laughs> we have to preserve this. There's one thing I've learned, is that I can't win every fight. But that's cool, I'm okay with that. But this, this is our history. We can't lose this fight. All our struggles as a people, I think about it and I used to say, I'm going to show them, I'm going to go out and change the world. Isaiah's been to hell and back. If I was in his shoes, I'd probably feel the exact same way. But... What would be the point of all the pain and sacrifice if I wasn't willing to stand up and keep fighting? I'm gonna need a montage. Montage! Every scene it gets a little bit better. To show it all would take too long. That's called a montage. Montage! <laughs> I don't know how you can catch that thing without flinching. Mm. I see the thing coming and I'm like, shit, it's gonna take my head off. <laughs> Put you to the limit. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da. We can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> we Like Nick himself at least once. Mm. Oh, I'm sure it. he did, and we just <laughs> didn't see it. <laughs> Interesting, they're doing this out in public. So we're working with criminals now. Tonight we go to battle. All of us. Congratulations, you have won our publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes. <laughs> you got new digs? Damn it! <laughs> Next episode. <laughs> Please stand by. <laughs> I'll never be able to hear those words again without going, God damn it! <laughs> ah, there's Mephisto. <laughs> it's Julia Louis Dreyfus all along. <laughs> Miss Julia all along. <laughs> ah, finally. About damn time. Mm. Oh, it's 
making bad guy armor. Mm -hmm. If they will give me the shield, I'll make one. Yep. So he's going into uh, the persona from the uh, the comics. Yes. Yeah. He's anti Captain America. Mm. <laughs> There's a negative Captain America. <laughs> now we're getting the ball rolling. Finally. Ah. Not that these episodes haven't been, you know, a joy to watch. <laughs> I say joy loosely. <laughs> we're finally getting to that point that we've been waiting for. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Granted, we've only got one more episode, so of course, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> you know. It's we're, the we're... culmination of everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the important thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Lord. A lot to digest in this one. <laughs> Frankly, I'm surprised that uh, Johnny Walker didn't get, like, harassed more for what he did. I mean, we only saw that crowd outside of his hearing, but I imagine people must have been, like, ambushing him on the streets and whatnot or trying to, like... That or <laughs> they were afraid of him and wanted to stay far, far that away. That too. It kind of played out how I thought it would. Like, I was surprised that he ran at the beginning, but... You know, then again, that's a natural response mm. for a lot of people. You know, fight or flight. Exactly. And he already fought, so... <laughs> And just, you love how, at this point, he's now, like, delusional. In that, like, yeah, he's the Captain America, even mm. though he did the most un-Captain America thing ever. Because, like, for, for as many people as, like, Steve fought, he, I, he, I don't think he ever actually killed anyone. No, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, all three Captain Americas, to my recollection, even, like, with the, uh, the goons or whatever, I don't think he ever straight up himself killed anybody. Heck, all the bad guys he faced off against either... Like, were killed by someone else or, like, disappeared or something, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> I feel bad for his wife. I mean, I give props to her for standing by his side. Especially with what he's about to do, just, I, I wouldn't just be surprised if she went into hiding after this. <laughs> mm. I mean, right now, she's about the only thing, you know, tethering him to, I guess you could call it sanity. I guess. And I think once either, you know, either she goes and leaves him, all bets are off, or, you know, she's going to be the one thing that'll, you know, remind him mm. once he, you know, goes that route, and uh, what we assume to be the power broker. Yeah, when they get, well, like, at the hearing and mentioning, it's like, oh, yeah, we're stripping you of your rank, of all benefits, and I'm like, oh, there goes one thing, uh, tethering her to you. Yeah. <laughs> Because I know a lot of uh, a lot of military, their significant others usually put up with like, you know, their their significant others being in the army because of all the perks that come with it. But cut that, and that kind of strains things. I hate to say. Mm -hmm. Without any source of income or any mm -hmm. sort of you know perks. Plus, a lot of them. I don't even want to call it perks, but. You know. But they get like a lot of their stuff, you know, paid by the military, even their houses. Mm -hmm. Like once you yeah. lose all that. You know. Yeah, it's like, I mean, you'd have to be incredibly loyal to, you know, stick around, to, to put up with that. Th this was much more than just a, you know, dishonorable discharge. This was like... Yeah, they even said themselves it wasn't for his, good, his previously clean record. They would have mm -hmm. court-martialed him, and that would have been really bad. Yeah. I just hate that he was, like, lying to Lamar's family, too. It's like, well, he didn't mostly lie. Just that one detail that, oh, yeah, I killed your son's killer. I know he, the guy was complicit, but he did not actually straight up kill mm -hmm. Lamar. Like, y you still didn't get the right person. The, the person that actually killed Lamar is still out there, and you just lied to his family about avenging him. Like, that's kind of messed up. Mm. I was part of me thought that, like, the guy's sister might have had an inkling that he was lying. I got that. Yeah. I got that impression from the way she was looking at him. Yeah. It's like she knows what's up. She probably yeah. like saw the live stream, probably heard the guy yelling, it wasn't me, it wasn't yeah. me. But she didn't want to confront him because, you know, nobody wants to confront him in no. state he's in now. <laughs> Not to mention, you know, right in front of uh, the grieving family mm -hmm. would probably not be a good time. Mm -hmm. And he broke Falcon's wings! God mm -hmm. damn it! That motherfucker! Oh god, I am so pissed off about that. You have no fucking idea. Like, I knew Sam would have to eventually give up the wings in order to be Captain America. I mean, he technically could have kept both, and it would have worked. As long as he didn't destroy Red Wing. 
Red Ring's already destroyed. Mm. <laughs> I mean, like, totally destroyed. I, yeah. But still, that sucks, mm -hmm. though, man. Like, I love those wings. <laughs> Uh, oh well. I mean, I guess he'll have to learn to function without them. Unless, unless... Uh, He's gonna incorporate it. It's incorporated into the new suit. Yeah, unless we'll yeah. kind of design him new wings. Mm. That'd be awesome. I want to see my vibranium wings. <laughs> like, just him just going all decked out. That'd be mm -hmm. awesome. Like, that's got... I hope that happens. Please mm -hmm. like that happen. I want a costume of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see that Bucky is having a lot more development in terms of like you know his whole his whole like sense of sanity and mm -hmm. you know his uh, trying to get closure and everything. Mm -hmm. This was way more productive than uh, the past the few therapy episodes. sessions. Yeah, <laughs> I mean I think now he sees you know there's still that chance of you know convincing Falcon to you know take up the shield. Mm -hmm. And so he's trying to keep hope alive, and it's, you know, finally gotten him to spill his guts for real. I love how they did this while, bas while basically doing the equivalent of tossing the ball around, except the ball <laughs> yeah. was a shield. <laughs> it was nice that he showed up to actually, like, help with the boat and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so I figured he'd go back into brooding mode once, you know, this was over, but I'm glad to see he actually mm -hmm. pulled himself out. You know, once he dealt with Zemo, he mm -hmm. actually helped Sam. That and also, you know, Sam's got credit that's even better than any bank could ever give. Mm-hmm. He's got favors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he's got family that, you know, he, he's got a, a close-knit community. Right. We don't want to, I don't want to say, like, you know, <laughs> go to the mafia thing. I know, Come on. I know. It's, it's far less dubious than that. No, 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 I, I know no. what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, when we got married, trust me, I called in a lot of favors. Mm. <laughs> and it's it, it's really nice to know that you can like count on people that, you know, you pay it mm -hmm. forward, they pay it back. That that's really mm. how everyone should be, quite honest. Yeah. Like if only if only, you know, the the flag smashers could be seeing that, then, mm. you know, there might be something to convince them. But I mean, uh, it's probably too late at this point. Even if they did see it, I don't think that would have changed anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were people who were displaced by the snap, who all were congregating in, you know, the first place that they could actually call home after after the fact. And now, you know, suddenly they're being told to leave that home and they're being branded, you know, criminals for speaking out against it. It's like, I understand their cause. I understand their frustration and everything. I truly mm -hmm. do. It's just the way they're going about it. Yeah. It's like every time they think they're making a step forward, progression for everyone else who isn't fighting goes like 10 steps back. Mm -hmm. Like all those poor people in the facility that got arrested because of the shit they pulled, you know, killing Lamar, that just... Oh, and it's not even just Lamar. It's, you know, that freaking building they blew up. Right. It's like they could have just left them mm -hmm. and, you know, it might have salvage their reputations a little bit and you know made them look like hey they're not so bad but no i think all good faith just went out the window mm -hmm. when they did that yeah because like because she already had the reputation like how i already had mm -hmm. the reputation of being like a robin hood figure and yeah robin hood definitely did you know fight the king's men sometimes even slaughtered mm -hmm. them if they really got in his way but for the most part he stuck to his principles of, you know, strictly stealing from the rich mm -hmm. to give to the poor. That was his thing, and that's what you think Carly would be doing. But no, she had to take it up a notch and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to steal your shit, and I'm going to kill you. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, come on. And and I even then, I know there's still people that are going to sympathize, especially after what Johnny did to that yeah. guy. But, like, that's the only thing salvaging their cause at this point. But even so, mm -hmm. just... Yeah. Martyrism. Yeah. Like I said, I I predict, like, whatever plan they're going to be laid down, like, whatever... I assume that what their big plan is is to basically storm the uh, building where they're, like, discussing the uh, to pass the act and basically kill everybody in there. Mm. Like, I feel like once that happens, like, I don't think any of them are making it out alive. No. I would be shocked if any of them survived. Like, I saw, like, maybe one or two of them were, like, second-guessing this whole thing, so maybe they might evacuate before they have, 
before they had the chance to get killed, but even then. At least the guy that brought the weapons, he's like, I'm just giving you, you know, the mm -hmm. tools you need. I don't want to be actually involved in this. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck this shit, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> it's like, okay, you know, I, I have my beef with uh, Falcon, but, you know, that's all I'm interested in. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think the most intense scene, though, was when he went to see Isaiah, though. Because, like, we knew mm. what that he went through some bad shit, but I didn't realize just how bad it was, and... Unfortunately, a lot of what he said in terms of, you know, not of not being the next Captain America rings true, I'm sad to say, where, you know, he said that, the, you know, America will never accept a black Captain America. I've actually heard that from people, believe it or not, not just online, but in person. And it's the same people that say, oh, we can never have a black Superman. We can never have a black Batman, uh, you know, so on and so forth. I've even had people like, as some of you may know, I review Disney movies and stuff, and of course, you know, live action remakes, they're usually bullshit. But then, of course, the when uh, people talk about The Little Mermaid and they revealed that it was a black girl that was playing The Little Mermaid this time around, everybody was like, oh, that makes no sense. If she lives under the water, she's a fish. How could she be black? And I'm like, why does it fucking matter? She's a mythical creature. And even then, it still shouldn't matter. But that's what we still have to deal with in 2021. Why? It's like, just let... Yeah, like, like, I get that you have your ideal, you know, vision of a uh, character, of a, you know, hero character. And, you know, the, how they've been portrayed for years. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta let that go. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you really need to let that go. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't fucking matter. It's a character. It's an mm -hmm. ideal. Anybody can portray it as long as they have the right traits that embody it. Mm -hmm. Like, look shouldn't matter. But the thing that really gets me about Isaiah's story was that he basically did the equivalent of what Steve did during the war. His men were captured behind enemy lines. They were originally, like, the government was originally just going to leave them there saying it was too risky to, to save them. He went in anyway and saved them. But the difference was that while Steve was her like heralded as a hero for doing that, and that's what upped his credit and you know basically made him into the quintessential Captain America, with Isaiah, he was like punished big time. Though wasn't in I mean, I'm not gonna take away from the argument that you've mm -hmm. made, but I do also seem to remember the men that he went to retrieve, weren't they also the uh, super soldiers that the government wanted to bury? Not, you know, well, have anybody know that they did the experiments on them. Well, they mentioned that the, the experiments didn't work on all of them the same way they did Isaiah. So I guess the ones that got captured were the ones who clearly didn't have mm. the same type of super strength or invulnerability as, you know, a super soldier would. So they figured, oh, it's no big deal if we lose them. They're just, you know, disposable soldiers. But in this case, you know, he... Didn't care. They were his friends. It's still wrong no matter how you cut it. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, mm -hmm. in this case, I could possibly see why the government what and reacted the way that they did. They're still assholes. Of course. They're still complete assholes. Right. Yeah. But this just makes it so much worse. And then the fact that the only reason he is still not in prison, that he is not dead right now, is because somebody... To had to lie, had to, to to pity and had to lie on his behalf. Had to fake his death just to get him out of that situation. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about him. Still, like he could have been dead by this point. And it's like I'm glad that you know he had at least one person in that facility realize, hey, this is fucked up. I need to stop this. But it sucks that that's what it took. And that was like. I don't know how many years mm -hmm. ago because I know he was in prison for like thirty years. So if we're talking post-war, that would have been up to, what, maybe like 80s, 90s or something? So it was definitely, like, recent, given... I know, you know it's his, like that time... wife died. Uh, oh, oh, and can we talk about how... Why did they need to... Why did they feel the need to keep the letters and everything that she sent from him? I mean, that's just... 
What, what do you gain by doing that? Because they wanted to keep him a secret. They wanted to continue experimenting on him without anybody finding out. And the fact that, you know, if they let his wife know that he was still alive, that's somebody who could potentially leak the mm -hmm. secret to the public. Like, that, I think that's the reason why they did it. But even so, it's still fucked up. And they didn't even let him know about it. Like, because I guess, you know, if he thought that, you know, nobody out there cared about him, he'd have less of a reason to try to, like, leave. And these people really have no uh, foresight and, you know, realizing that if he's living this long, chances are he's going to get out. And if he finds out about this shit, he would probably come for you. Good thing he, you know, was so, you know, broken. he had to maintain, yeah, so broken and, and he had to maintain that he was dead to, you know, otherwise he'd be coming for them. Mm -hmm. He would be coming for them and he'd be justified. I actually saw someone share a post about what Isaiah's situation was similar to in terms of actual American history. From what I heard, like, you know, post-war and everything, when they, when they were recruiting, you know, black soldiers or whatever for, you know, experimentation, you know, saying that they were just giving them, like, boosters and stuff, they were actually infecting them with syphilis. Mm. And then they were, like, testing, like, you know, how to... They were testing, like, medications and other stuff on them. You know, basically making them into unwilling guinea pigs, you know, without their consent. And it was like decades before, you know, their families finally found out about this and made it public to everybody. Nothing ever changes. Nope. Nothing ever changes. Nope. Uh, more examples of how much our country sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like, I can understand Isaiah's reasoning, you know, it's like, because he doesn't want to be targeted. And... You, this kind of makes it really clear now as to why Sam was so against holding the shield, because that is a huge responsibility, even more than it was for Johnny Walker, because at least but Johnny Walker, I hate to say it, his whiteness gives him the, you know... The white privilege. Yeah, the advantage of, you know, being more widely accepted by this country. Whereas with Sam, everybody, like, I guarantee you at least... You know, a good half of this country would not would not support him simply because of how he looked. Doesn't matter if he was Avenger. Doesn't matter if he was in the army. Doesn't matter if he can fight or embody any of the traits of Captain America. It's just because he's a black man, people will be against it. Yep. So I don't blame him. You know, not wanting to go through that bullshit, not wanting to put his family through that bullshit. But at the same time, as history has shown us, some people have got to make that sacrifice. It's the same thing whether you are a different race or a different gender or you're non-binary. Like, there always has to be somebody willing to make that first step in order to make progress for everyone else. And I'm glad that he finally realized that mm -hmm. in this. So now it's all a matter of, is he going to be able to get to, the, uh, get to New York in time? Mm -hmm. And are they going to be able to stop Carly before she frickin' kills everybody? And of course, there's still the question about the power broker. Suddenly, friggin' Elaine shows up, <laughs> you know, saying, I'm gonna make you a deal. <laughs> oh, and she, it's like, she doesn't even give anybody else a chance to speak. It's like, she's off to the races. She, like, puts herself right between, like, him it's and like, his wife, and I'm like, wow, you are pushy, bitch. <laughs> it's like, I only have this much time to film, I'm just gonna say every single line, no, 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 you, you can't talk, <laughs> I'm gonna say everything for you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against Julia Louis Dreyfus. They told me they're paying me by the minute, so <laughs> I was like, "That was." They such can't a, afford my contract, so that was such a drive-by scene. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and again, I'm wondering, you know, is she working for the power broker, or is she is she the power broker? Because I was getting that vibe from like both sides, and of course, they're still dropping hints that it definitely must be Sharon who's the power broker because mm. they show a scene of her in with, the gallery yeah, yeah and she wasn't you know interacting with either Sam or Bucky so mm -hmm. and everything she said was a little more ambiguous mm -hmm. and it makes me wonder is Sam gonna make good on his word to you know get her uh, record expunged not if he if what we think is true because mm. I don't see how he can overlook that like well that's assuming that you know, he finds out if he doesn't If he know. doesn't, I know he'll yeah. definitely try to keep his promise. Yeah. But at the same time, if he does find out, like, he could probably overlook the whole stealing of the art thing. I mean, that, 
ultimately is like that's a slap on the wrist yeah that's ultimately a a harmless crime it's like yeah it sucks that the original artwork is being kept you know out of like you know the people that actually benefit from it Mm -hmm. you know the artist descendants and whatnot but even then that's still harmless compared to other stuff she could be doing but it feels like she's doing a lot more than just hoarding art (laughs) Mm. I, i worry for the next episode it's the final episode too so this is either going to tie up all the strings from the past five episodes, or we're going to leave on, like, a massive fucking cliffhanger. Well, we finally got our uh, post credit scene. Yeah. And who is to say, you know, much like uh, WandaVision, that we won't get multiples in the final episode. Mm. Well, obviously some things are gonna, aren't going to be totally wrapped up. Oh, you know, no. They're going to have, you know, more spinoffs. It's going to lead into certain movies with, you know, meetups with other characters. I mean, that's a given. I, I understand that. That's, mm. that's the way of the MCU these days. It's just... <laughs> I, I just don't want, don't want this to be like, oh, he's about to go into battle and they cut to black. Mm. <laughs> like, that would, that would really piss me off. <laughs> so it'll be Age of Ultron again with Avengers! <laughs> <laughs> and then wait until fucking end game. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, this th- th- this has been a good episode. And this has been a nice build up to everything. And I definitely look forward to what the final one brings. Any other things you want to add? Anything? You th- any predictions you think are going to happen for the next one? <laughs> I'm guessing maybe we might see some people we thought were dead or just haven't seen in a while just come out of the woodwork. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Honestly, it's like, I feel like they're going to pull out all the stops for this one. It is just going to be like, we're going to be on the edge of our seats the whole entire episode. <laughs> I hope they show uh, Zemo being put on that raft, as mm. they said in Wakanda. It's like, we're setting you adrift. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he's going to the raft, Sam's already proof that, uh, you know, it is, it, it's possible to break out of that so <laughs> we certainly have not seen the end of Zemo no I don't think so I mean, I'm glad they didn't kill him off because mm-hmm. given what a fan favorite he is now they're definitely gonna bring him back in the future he'll dance his way out of his <laughs> cell oh god <laughs> <laughs> you know with Star Lord they just have a mm. dance off <laughs> so yeah until next time everyone I'm Kat McBerry I'm Doug McBerry I can't believe Bucky hit on Sam's sister <laughs> I ship it. <laughs> you ship it? Boo. Like the ship of Theseus? Why, you? <laughs>